Hi guys, this is Bryce Finn. Who's in it today? We're going to learn how to play Night Hides the World. Alright, so to start off, here is the intro riff. <laughs> So this is a song that is in the key of E flat minor, and uh, I am tuned down an entire half step, so make sure you're in tune with me here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start and we're going to play an E flat minor chord, but with a B in the bass. And so the way that we play that to start this off is I'm doing two down strokes, and the picking here is pretty important. This is kind of what makes the whole riff. So we're going to do down, down, up. And then when you're coming up, for the rest of pretty much everything for this entire song, it's down, down, up, up, down. So after we play this first chord, I'm gonna take our first finger and go over to the seventh fret here on the B string. So what you have so far is this. Okay, so after you play that, then we're going to go over here and we're going to play what is a D chord, but played with an A in the bass. And that is just a uh, bar on your first finger on the seventh fret. So, all three of those together we have. Okay, so then after we do that bar, then we're going to take our middle finger, and the middle finger is going to come down here to the eighth fret. So all four, of that, all four of those chords together is basically this. Okay, and then keep your picking in mind while you're doing this entire thing. So when you're starting from the higher part, it's upstroke, upstroke, downstroke. All right, so then we go down to the, um, the fifth fret on the D string here, and basically we're playing a a C flat, but with a G note in the bass here. And so how we're going to start this one is we're going to do. So basically you're just taking your pinky up here, and you're reaching up to the 8th fret, then ring finger to the 7th fret, and then back. So the first part of that whole section should be. All right. So then the next part, the next bar, I guess part two of the intro section, basically is going to start the same. Right, but then we're going to end here, and we're going to play this chord, which is basically a G flat sus4 chord. And the picking of this is indicated on the tab, so make sure you follow that. So all together for the intro we have. And that's the intro there. So moving on to the verse riff, we're going to play all the same chords, and all of the chord names are written down in the tab. Since I'm in E-flat, I've basically just flattened everything. So if you were in standard tuning, basically just remove the flats and there you go, that's the name of the chord. Um, so we put on our clean tone and we basically have this. basically playing that same E chord here. Move and bar the seventh fret with our first finger. What we're doing here is we're gonna hammer on the eighth with our middle finger. Do a little pull off there. Then you're gonna shift down to the fifth fret. And then kind of doing the same thing that we were doing in the intro with the picking. Make sure you stretch your pinky all the way up there to the tenth fret. And then for the next time around, it's basically the same thing. We're going to play that sus chord over here. All right, and that is the verse. Okay, so for the chorus, this is maybe a little bit tricky. But what we're going to do here is we're going to start basically 
uh, basically this lick, it's going to be some tremolo picking, and the way that you want to do this is you really kind of want to angle your pick up. This is how I do this, because we're going to have some strings giving in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on C flat here. And this is basically just kind of like a C flat chord. So we do, and this is all one, two tremolo picked. So we do, go to B. So what we got here, basically to play it in single notes. Nine on the G string, 10 on the D string, 11 on the G string, pull off to seven on the G string. Pull off to 7 on the D string, and we're back on 9, and then back on 10. But you're playing it two strokes per note, so. Okay. The next one, we're doing the same technique, but we're going to start here on B. Then you want to go to the 7th fret on the G string. Next note is 9th fret on the D string. Then 9, 9th fret on the G string. We're going to kind of do a little bit of a pivot bar thing here. Um, and so you're doing 9, 9. Alright, so we're doing... You're pulling on to 7. Doing the bar thing on the 7th fret on the D string again. So all together that sounds like... So after you play that, we come here, big power chord. And the way that I do this, these open strings here, open B, open B, and then kind of like a little bit of a harmonic rake on the fifth fret. So. All right, so the next part of this, part two, we slide our first finger here to the uh, tenth fret on the A string. And we're going to kind of do like a, like a sus here. So we got two more chords. And this is basically, you're doing 10, 12, 14. And that, the picking is, falls the same kind of picking as the intro. So that's a very recurring theme, I guess, in this entire song. So. All right, the next one we have here. We've got a chord where we play 9 on the A string, and then 12 and 12 on the D string and G string respectively. So all together. Okay, then after that we're going to basically play these. This is kind of like a, sort of like a third chord is how I refer to these, um, but it's you're sort of dropping the fifth, so there's no fifth. Uh, so it's not necessarily a triad, but it's like a triad without the fifth. So we've got this major. So this is a D flat major. And then we go to this E flat minor. So we go. So we go like this. So all together the chorus should sound like Alright, so the next part we have is the interlude that the solo is played over. And this is, again, we're kind of doing these chords where we take sort of an inversion and we play it higher up on the neck, so you get sort of a higher, a higher voicing of what would normally be just a power chord. Um, so those inversions have been identified in the tab. So be on the lookout for that. All right, so basically the way that we're going to play this one is I like to play this where I'm sort of barring between the D and the G string on the ninth fret, and then I have my pinky come here to the 12th. And we're going to do the same sort of picking that we've done, which is the up, up, down stroke. So, so you do two of the chord all the way through, all the way to the bass. And then the third time, it's just these two notes there. And that is the same sort of, uh, that's the same technique for all of these. So, 
So we're going to start here, and this is basically and once you get to there, then you just pull off to your middle finger. Right, and then we're going to move down a full step, and we got 10, 7, 7 here, using the same set of strings. Again, we're pulling off on the second part of that pulling off to our middle finger so that we're playing eight, seven, seven. Okay. So, all together we should have this. And then we're back to the root. All right, and then we're gonna move up basically a minor third here. So, we're playing with our first finger over D, uh, the 12th fret on the D string. All right, and our pinky, again, is on the 15th fret here. And then this one, for these two note, for these two chords here, we're not gonna do the pull off to the middle finger, so we're just gonna slide forward a step here. And it's the same thing, but you're playing 14, 14, 17, so. All right, so all together we should have this. Awesome. And so that's basically, in a nutshell, how to play all of the stuff, all the parts that I play, at least, from Night Hides the World. Make sure you come back later because we will be going over the solo next time, so stay tuned for that.